Good Sunday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with a quick update of your forecast as we round out the last weekend of October. Things are, again, pretty quiet for right now. We're going to be seeing some more possible storms coming up as we go into later on this week, and that, again, could spell some problems. Unfortunately, right as we go into and around the area of trick-or-treating time for Halloween night. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. If you've never been here before or dropped in for our presentation. Welcome to Weather Overtime. This is our online video weather blog giving you the opportunity to learn a little bit more about what's going on with the forecast. We'll try to answer as many questions as we possibly can about what's going on in and around the Mid-South area. If you've got weather reports from around the area, drop your location and your weather reports out there. If you've got a weather station that gives you the high, low rainfall, that's great. But if you just have the thermometer outside the kitchen window, Give us a temperature reading. Let's do some amateur meteorology together, and I'll read off some of those reports as we go throughout the next several minutes. Again, just drop those into the comments section. Brandy Merriman, Severe Weather Wednesday. Possibility right there. Again, not a guarantee, but looking better for that possibility. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. If you got any weather pictures, we'd love to see them. Drop those to me at austin.onic at wreg.com. Email address right over here, or you can get all the social media networks available where I'm at at wreg.com slash weather for more information. And, of course, if you've got any weather pictures out there, we'd love to see them, so tweet them on over to me for right now. Tammy Russell, host hope there is no rain on Halloween. Unfortunately, it's looking a lot less dry for Halloween and quite possibly some stormy weather in there as well. We'll talk more about that in just a little bit. My wife, Melissa Onik, joining us from home. Welcome uh, to my beautiful and talented wife. Thanks for checking on in for this evening. Everybody wave hello to uh, Melissa for right now. Looking again at some cool temperatures into tomorrow morning, dry and chilly. We had a weak cold front pass through the area today. You probably thought, well, okay, where's the rain? Where's the severe weather, where's the, again, really cold temperatures. We're not getting those because, again, it was dry on either side of that front. So when it swept on through, we barely had anything in the way of cloud cover. But the main effect was the winds coming in from out of the northeast. It's going to be pretty brisk tomorrow for the kids at the bus stop out there. So we're going to be looking at some pretty cool temperatures for right now. Brian Kenneth Mann's South Haven Warm reported there. Okay, very comfortable, very cool, or very mild, I guess I should say. Thank you very much uh, for that one. Beautiful day in Oxford, Thelma Potts Phillips. Thank you very much uh, for that one. Tony Teal, when I was three years old, 1983, it was snowing. If you're talking about uh, Halloween, yeah, we can get some weird weather and stuff like that. I remember a few years ago, it was about 85 on Halloween night and pretty humid out there. Wearing the long scarf of the Doctor Who costume was not all that fun out there. High of 79, Drew Richards in Florence, Alabama. Max wind gust of 25. Thank you very much uh, for that weather report right there. Scott Jarvis, Banner, Mississippi. Clear and beautiful tonight. 65. Low of 45 tonight. Good weather forecast. Thank you very much. Uh, beautiful and 60 in Covington. Peanut Short. Thank you very much for that. And Vera Davis. Glorious day in Batesville, Mississippi. High temperature today. Again, about a category above where we should be for this time of the year. 53 degrees. The low temperature for today. Just above our normal low of 50 degrees. No rain reported today. Still well ahead for the year by over 8 inches. And we're going into November in the next few days, and that typically is our rainiest month of the year for this area of the country. So we could get uh, upwards of five inches plus as we go through Thanksgiving and the course of the next several days. We'll keep you updated on that as we go throughout the next few days. The mighty lights across the Mississippi River are lit up for tonight. Again, this is the uh, lights that we saw debut last night on the I-40 bridge. The LED display lit up for this evening. Have a chance to get down there. It happens every hour on the hour from sunset through, I believe, 11 o'clock or midnight or so, and some spectacular effects going on in downtown Memphis uh, because of this. Now, this is not Big River Crossing. That's a little bit farther to the south of that, and that also is lit up at this time. So a beautiful view, clear conditions out there, and a few joggers and walkers out there catching some of the late evening uh, nice breezes out there for the time being. So a beautiful view down on the river on both bridges for tonight, nicely lit up. Storm Tracker 3S radar, Cynthia 
Stone, 76 in Camden today. Scarlet Hill, how's it going to be for Halloween? We'll take a look at that forecast in just a little bit. James Chambers, beautiful in Coldwater. Thanks for checking in there. Newburn, Don Garner, clear and nice. Thank you very much. Uh, for that one, Steve Buckner, Walking Dead is on. Thanks for letting us know. Don't tell my daughter. She doesn't like spoilers uh, when it comes to watching things early. So thank you very much for informing us of the TV schedule. Uh, raining 11 p.m. in Lawrence, Michigan. Tony Teal, thank you very much uh, for that one. John Mulliken had to cover for you Friday. Uh, yeah, Weather-wise, thank you very much, Mr. Mulliken. Uh, skydiver and organiza organizer extraordinaire at the Pink Palace. Thanks for checking in on that, and thanks for covering for my weather program. I'm there, I do appreciate it. Weather Station, high of 80 in Oakfield, Tennessee. Danny Wells, uh, thank you very much for that one at this point in time. And as of right now, looking at clear skies across the Mid South and the stuff you see around radar, we've ramped up the sensitivity to detect anything out there anywhere across the area. What you're looking at here is again just typical amounts of moisture. And again, dust and planes and birds, uh, just stuff like that that you can get very close to the radar site. So no rainfall taking place at this time and looking pretty good. Nothing on the way. What's left of that nor'easter making its way out of the picture, heading up into the Canadian Maritimes and some pretty sloppy weather for the New England area over the course of the last couple of days. Channing Kid, off topic, anywhere to tell when the next meteor storm will be. Uh, meteor storms, don't really get a chance to predict those specifically. There's possibilities we could see better ones out there. Now, the next meteor shower is the Leonids, and that'll be coming up in early November, if I'm not mistaken. And already some reports, a couple of people posting on my Facebook page about uh, seeing some shooting stars over the last couple of nights, not specifically due to those meteor showers. But again, you can catch stuff like that at almost any time if you look up properly right there. But if we get anything about any meteor storms out there, we'll let you know. Channing Kid, thank you very much uh, for that question. Question in there. Nice weather in Walnut. Bobby Tatum, thank you very much for that one. And Charlotte Pryor from Clarksdale, Mississippi, thanks for checking in. Temperatures, again, pretty mild, but starting to cool off. We're back in the lower to mid 50s. Winds are starting to slack off a little bit. They were pretty breezy for a while as that cold front came on through. More of this weather on your computer system. All you have to do is go to this website, wreg.com slash weather, again, for more information on that. Rest of the evening, again, through about news channel 3 at 10 we probably are not going to see too much changing at all and into tomorrow morning again nothing really huge when it comes to any changes but as we said before it is going to be brisk out there we will be looking for temperatures by tomorrow morning at the bus stop back in the lower to mid 40s north of interstate 40 and back to the south now winds coming in tomorrow out of the northeast so it's going to make things a little bit on the brisk side out there but warming up nicely into tomorrow as the winds begin to turn back around out of the south, making that complete 360-degree turn. We're going to be seeing the temperatures rise back upwards again as we go into Tuesday, and then the next storm system rolls in, and that's where we start to see more cool temperatures after that. But by tomorrow afternoon, winds coming back out of the southeast. It'll be comfortable. It'll be just above normal tomorrow, lower to mid-70s, so very pleasant across much of the mid-south into tomorrow evening. Wish we could say that's going to be the same way throughout the course of the rest of the next several days, but we'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. Fog tomorrow morning should not be a problem. Visibility is 10 miles plus, even 12 miles plus, so very good visibility across the entire Mid-South with very dry air in place. We're just not seeing anything out there in the way of major amounts of fog anytime with not enough moisture on there for right now. Uh, Michelle Kaufman, City of New Bern, is doing their trick-or-treating on Tuesday due to the forecast on Halloween. Okay, thank you very much for that one. And again, that's for New Bern, according to what uh, Ms. Kaufman is telling us here. Really have to check around and see what else is going on. In the next few days, you may want to see if there's anything like an indoor trunk or treat set situation setting up from local places of worship. That might be your best bet because the forecast, unfortunately, for Halloween is looking a little bit more foul instead of fair. Temperatures for tomorrow, again, lower 70s, a little bit lower than today. Still plenty of sunshine and still a very nice day coming up. Lower 80s possible on Tuesday, so warming back up once again right before our next system sets into the area and more clouds in advance of our next system by Tuesday evening. Now, a couple of days ago, early on Halloween, 
back into around Wednesday morning, midday, and lunchtime. We're looking okay, at least cloudy, but no rainfall. Now we've had to push that rainfall back all the way to the time the kids hit the bus stop, lunchtime, picking up the kids from school, and unfortunately for trick-or-treating on Thursday, Wednesday night could be that possibility of getting again some more rainfall in there and again the potential of maybe some storms. National Weather Service also saying that some of these out there could be on the strong to borderline severe side. So once again trick-or-treating in parts of the Mid-South could be done during a stormy period again or at least that'll be taking place during a stormy period. May have to rethink the trick-or-treating thing and again if you know any in indoor activities going on that would probably be your safest bet out there for right now. And again, much across the area, this is where we're going to be seeing the potential for the heaviest amount of rainfall. And that's going to go right on into Thursday to where we're seeing some pretty good amounts of coverage on that, especially early Thursday. Notice the difference in temperatures going from the mid-70s on Wednesday, first day of November, back in the upper 50s for highs, 60s and 50s throughout the next few days, a few lingering showers into the next weekend, the first full weekend of November of 2018 as well. Dina, Joe, Fleddy, get out and vote. Yes, very good sentiments on that, and you should never let the weather be an excuse for not voting. If you're a citizen, you're registered to vote, and you can cast your ballot, get out and cast your vote on this upcoming Tuesday Next, again, that's where Election Day is coming on through. Weather should be great. We did have to have some showers in the forecast earlier. We've taken those out for now, so it shouldn't be that much of a problem. Again, never let the weather be an excuse for not voting. Get out and cast your ballot if you have not done so already for early voting. My wife and I already went to uh, the Agri Center and cast our ballots about a week or so ago, so a good opportunity to get that done ahead of time if you can do it there. But once again, voting in the Mid-South coming up on Election Day. Tuesday next looks pretty good for right now, so definitely some good news on that. Scott Jarvis, thank you very much uh, for the compliment. Do appreciate that uh, very much so on there. See, feeling 50 below zero this past Friday night to wearing tank tops in Tupelo, Mississippi, Rossier, Harris, Rudd. Nothing like a little variety out there, that's for certain. Thank you very much for checking in there, and we'll keep you updated on the changes in the forecast coming up over the next several days. Right now, Oscar is a hurricane way out into the Atlantic, and a lot of questions over the last couple of days on social media about what threat this is going to be to the United States or if this is going to be moving back across toward around Texas and New Mexico and places like that not even close to this point in time. Memphis in the Mid-South over here, Oscar is several hundred miles away out into the Atlantic. It's been kind of wandering its way around, generally heading back to the west. But in the next couple of days, the storm is going to be moving just far enough north for the jet stream to pick this thing up and kick it out into the North Atlantic. And that's going to lose a lot of its power very quickly. So maybe becoming a Category 2 hurricane by about late Tuesday morning, early on Wednesday, somewhere in there, but then the colder waters start to take over, and then it just becomes a post-tropical depression. So this is no threat to the United States, and as of right now, we've got about a month and a week before we're done with tropical storm season out there. I want to let everybody know about this, switching from weather to science and astronomy out there. The Memphis Astronomical Society, they hold a free meeting at the Christian Brothers University. It's their monthly meeting. It's free. It's open to the public. This coming Friday, is going to be a great opportunity to learn about those who were involved in the space race and those who got us to the moon and got the astronauts out there and all the people that helped out with stuff like that, including the flight controllers. The guest of Memphis Astronomical Society this Friday evening will be Associate Professor Bill Wepner, U.S. Air Force retired. He was on the flight control team for Apollo 11 and Apollo 12, and he will be at Memphis Astronomical Society's meeting coming up this this Friday evening at 8 o'clock. More information, go to Twitter at society underscore Memphis, or you can go to their website at memphisastro.org to find out more about this. Again, totally free, totally open to the public, and if you'd like more details, again, go to my social media websites for more information about all of that. Now, for getting information about Skywarn spotting, 
several meetings coming up in the next couple of weeks. We are going right into storm season number two for this area of the country. Late October through about mid-December, this is where we can get some pretty nasty storms coming through here. So if you'd like to know more about what to do beforehand, how to get ready for these storms, and what to look for when these storms start coming around, this is where you want to be. Paragold, Arkansas coming up this Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. at Arkansas Methodist Medical Center. That'll be at 6.30 p.m. in Paragold. Gould, Arkansas. There'll be a couple more meetings coming up, and this will do it for the rest of the season. The next one after that will be coming up this Thursday, November the 1st, in Jackson, Tennessee. If you live in and around that area of Madison County or close by, this will be a good opportunity to learn about severe weather at the EOC. 239 Grady Montgomery Drive in Jackson, Tennessee, and the National Weather Service has scheduled one more meeting for Shelby County and Memphis. Did not have this on the books until a few days ago. Now, you do have to register for this. Registration is required. It's not anything like a government census. You don't have to pay money for it. It's completely and totally free. The reason you have to register for it is to make certain that the National Weather Service has enough seats for everybody at the Emergency Operations Center on Mullen Station Road. This will be coming up next week, Thursday, November 8th at 6.30 p.m. So if you'd like to attend and would like to sign up for that, the link is available at weather.gov slash MEG or just go to weather.gov Click on the map for the Mid-South area, and you'll see the headline for Skywarn, and you can sign up there. These meetings last about an hour, hour and a half. They are totally free. Great opportunity to learn more. If you can't attend the meetings, they are available online from the University Center for Atmospheric Research, and then you can show up and take the meetings in person when you're able to do so. So they're available out there if you'd like to take a look around, again, for stuff like that. So again, good opportunity to get ready for severe weather right now in and around the Mid-South. All right, one more <clears throat> excuse me, check of the forecast coming up as we go into the school day tomorrow. Temperatures will be chilly starting off, so bus stop will need a jacket. Won't need it too much on the way home. Temperatures in the lower 70s and will not need anything in the way of an umbrella for tomorrow. Good news on that. More of my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations. And, of course, you can join me with Bob and Josh on Talkback Live AM 730, Monday through Friday from 8 to 10 a.m. I'll have your complete forecast for you there as well. Sports chat extraordinaire from across the Mid-South. Can't listen to them on AM 730? Dial them up online at talkbacklivenetwork.org for more information and some great sports chat, current events, all kinds of other stuff going on around portions of the Mid-South area. That should read 8.45 p.m. I apologize. I don't know why it doesn't say that, but we'll have more about weather where the troops are coming up at 8.45 p.m. tonight on my Facebook, Twitter, and Periscope feed, so you can find out more about that coming up a little bit later on. Dennis Smith, is it going to rain all day on Halloween? Yes, it looks like it is going to be a pretty soggy one for the Halloween uh, period of time out there, so not much good news, unfortunately, where that is concerned anytime there. If you'd like to get more weather information, again, we'll have more details available, all available here at wreg.com slash weather for our complete forecast. We are on time for tonight, so again, we'll have more details about the updates about the forecast coming up on News Channel 3 at 10 for later on this evening. I'll have a complete update of your forecast there. And, of course, Todd Demers will have more on your forecast coming up bright and early tomorrow morning. That'll be on Daybreak, and that starts at 4.30 Monday morning, so stay tuned for more on that. And, of course, I'll have more on your forecast coming up in about 90 minutes on News Channel 3 at 10, so stick around for more there. Questions, concerns, ideas, comments? Complaints if you absolutely have to, but some of you have to. So again, austin.onic at wreg.com and give me an idea as to what we can do to make this your weather blog so you can keep coming back and watching what goes on. And we'd love to know more about what you think about this, so give us suggestions. If you got them, I'll run them up to the flagpole to my supervisors and see what they want to do about it and get more ideas for more updates on this. We'd love to hear from you, so drop me a line and give me an idea. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee on Sunday evening, I meet meteorologist Austin Onik. Stay tuned for more coming up with News Channel 3 on air and online right on into next week.